Hello, hello, Leo, and welcome to Stars with Stasi. This is your weekly reading for March 31st through April 6th, or whenever you come across this message, it is meant for you. I've already shuffled your card, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's theme. Now, keep in mind that on April 1st starts the Mercury retrograde, right? Mercury retrograde happens three times a year for about three weeks each year. And so that's giving you time to review and revise a particular part of your life. This is happening in your fifth house. So this is going to have you revising anything having to do with your self-expression, um, relationships, and as well as creativity. So if you're working on something new, um, if you, you know, and we're very creative people, I'm a Leo rising. So generally very creative people, whatever you're working on, there's probably lots of ideas coming through. So there's a period of refinement for about the next three weeks. I've got the runaway secrets running from problems. We're going to clarify all of these, but there probably is something here, right, that you are having to face, which is the eclipse energy coupled with the retrograde energy. Then we've got eagle seen from a higher perspective. You could be coming into information that has you looking at a romantic situation or a creative project slightly differently. And then we have dream thief, refusal of the call. This is number 13. 13 reduces to four, and it's also in the major arcana. It's two things. Four is the emperor, right? And we are in airy season, and this is a great time to start a business or so if you, or, you know, a creative project that you can monetize, which again, that's what the energy is in your fifth house. And then also it's Scorpio energy. <clears throat> so that means there's a period of rebirth happening for you in a particular sector of your life. So I'm going to pull nine cards and then we're going to go from there and clarify those. So let's see. Spirit, what can you tell me? Oh, first for, uh, oh, wow. Hold on. For Leo, I've got the world card came through, the queen of cups, three of swords, potential heartbreak there, recent heartbreak potentially. And we've got the page of wands. I'm looking at the ace of pentacles. We're taking that as your central position. So I, that has been coming up for you a lot, Leo, that this is a good year for your money, a good year for business. All right. What else? Let's keep going. So with the world card and the queen of cups, I just had the nine of swords come through along with the 10 of swords. There is a progression here towards an ending of something, nine of pentacles, as well as the hanged man or the hanged one in this deck. Now, when I'm looking at the hanged one coming in with the eagle, this is really about you seeing something completely different, a fresh perspective. So the queen of cups shows up in your reading. Queen of cups is generally a cancer, right? So a cancer energy, but I always see her as Scorpio as well. So Scorpio showing up a lot in your reading could be a Pisces or just someone extending, um, a more mature and emotional perspective on something because we've got the world card coming through, which signifies like an ending of a chapter. There's something that you are putting an end to. This could be reviewing a past relationship. Mercury retrograde will have you potentially calling out to an ex to clarify, rectify something or vice versa. Um, I, you know, and all of us are always like, I'm not reaching out to an ex, but you never know. Something could come up during this eclipse season, putting you in a position to have to communicate. All right. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something bad or challenging. It could just be a clarification of a situation. Um, so the world card shows up and it signifies an ending and it could be an ending to this heartbreak or because of this heartbreak, there is an ending. The other thing I'm picking up is for those of you in the past that may have had third party energy show up in your relationship, there could be something that happens this week that triggers that recollection. You might see the person that was the third party out and about. You might see something online about your ex. That could be a situation as well. That's coming through pretty clearly in your um, romance area. And then I've got the Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords showing up. So something's stressing you out. And the Page of Wands is, you know, somebody who is enthusiastic and willing to explore new ideas. And then we have that leading to the Ace of Pentacles. It's like a brand new beginning, right? Something in the material. But then the Nine of Swords shows up. So it's probable that as you start something or as you really um, get involved in XYZ, we'll clarify, 
it does start to take off, but that can also be overwhelming because it could be too much all at once, right? So we'll see. I've got the Ten of Swords coming through with the Nine of Pentacles and the Hanged One. So let's clarify these cards, please. And what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Why the World card? What is Leo closing out? I've got Ace of Pentacles. So you could be closing out one way of life, period. So maybe you are going from, you know, working for someone to creating yourself a lifestyle, right? Perhaps you are physically moving. This could potentially be that. It could be a job, a move, or again, a creative project. Whatever it is that you're manifesting here in the material, it's because you've closed out a chapter, and so now you have space and room to continue to do something new. Some of you are really getting um, potentially, well, let me, let me clarify a little bit more because I am getting something about unexpected funds coming your way and it could be an inheritance of some sort. Um, I'm not sure if that came up for you or Scorpio, but I definitely remember saying that this week. So you might want to check your other placements to clarify that. I've got the Queen of Cups coming through with the Ace of Swords. So that's amazing because you've got the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning in the material, and then you've got the Ace of Swords coming through. Because this is clarifying the Queen of Cups, that tells me that you're having a conversation or a meeting of the minds, a new understanding, which brings me back to, again, the Eagle and the Hanged One which is perfect eclipse situation, right? You're in a position where you have a conversation, you have a new beginning, it sheds clarity on something you've been dealing with. So let's clarify, what's this three of swords all about? This one stuck out, the queen of swords. So the queen of swords is all about seeing something clearly, right? And maybe even for the first time and her head's above the clouds. I want you to take a good look at that. Her head's above the clouds and she has a fresh perspective, right? Nothing's getting by the queen of swords. This could be, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, <clears throat> Gemini or Libra. If that's a particular person, they could be the third party or the, the ex or what have you, but it, I feel like this is representing you, Leo. I feel like this is a situation where you've had some time to think about whatever, right? It is coming through more relationship and work than anything else. I don't feel like this is friendships or group pro. I mean, it could be, but this is really coming through. Like there was a real heartache, a real backstabbing. And I feel that between the ace of swords coming through, which is like a new conversation, new information coming your way, you see something online, you get a text, right? Ace or swords are all about communication. So it's like you have communication with maybe a, a water sign, right? It could be a cancer. You have a communication with a cancer. Um, you could be closing out a chapter, but you really do have a fresh perspective on this. I mean, this could be a family member, you know, potentially, um, you know, I'm kind of getting that energy as well, but regardless, either way, whatever information you get, it has you putting things in a fresh perspective and it changes the trajectory really of your life, because whatever it is that's going on has been weighing you down. That's the, that's the impression I'm getting. And again, I have to keep going back to this, which is I have an Eagle. It's a new perspective that you're being asked to, to, to take because whatever it is that's coming up for you, this eclipse season, this week, specifically, as we approach the solar eclipse in Aries, right? I feel that it's been weighing you down so heavy that you've had to refuse the call of stepping into your greatness because you've been preoccupied with something I feel that is out of your control, right? <clears throat> and again, that is an eclipse season type of situation. Things will be out of your control. And so the best thing you can do and the advice from spirit is to find a place of ease while you experience the great shuffle, <laughs> the great shuffle. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. What do we have for the page of wands is being clarified. Well, two cards came out and they're telling me to take it with the same thing. Perfect. So look, whatever it is that you're stepping into, whatever you're getting curious about and you're like, yes, I want this, right? Something really is pulling you towards exploration, a new idea, a new person. And I say a new person because again, Aries energy shows up. Remember, we talked about that earlier. This could be that you're stepping into something. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have to take a sip. 
my uh, tumbler that I always use. I don't love to use those cups. I have them set aside from a past gathering, but really it's not my jam. I don't, I like to use things that are sustainable. So in any event, I've had that cup, I feel like forever, but my, my tumbler broke. And so I had to bust that out. Forgive me. I digress <clears throat> as I try to catch my breath here. So four of wands and the emperor. I just want to also point out that these are two number fours. So you could be seeing a lot of fours, right? Fours or eights. Fours are about foundation and eights are about abundance. So there is something here about your willingness to try something new leads you to an abundant future, one of stability and community. You could be stepping towards a very stable relationship, one of potentially marriage, if that's something that you want. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's something to consider here. Um, one moment, please. I'm really hoping that that muted, forgive me. <clears throat> so it's <clears throat> spring where I live and the allergies are intense. So <clears throat> also, you know, Leo, some of you might be having a hard time getting your words out because this is coming out of nowhere <clears throat> where it's like, you know, maybe you are trying to express yourself in relationship because it's no sooner than I pick up this, <clears throat> this um, cards of expression and whatever it is you're trying to eat. Like, I feel like you're very excited about something. So this four of wands, the emperor, whatever it is that you're working on, it's like you find the support you need to get your vision going and you find other people that support you as well. <clears throat> like not just your vision, but you, like who you are and what you're doing and what you're about, right? So it's, it's like that soul tribe energy. Because what it is, is I go back to this queen of swords, whatever conversation you have this week, whatever situation you're being called to revisit, put you in a position of saying, you know what, I'm just going to walk away from that past person, that past drama completely. And in the past, I feel like you've tried to do this, Leo, like you've tried to cut ties. However, it's like you keep getting pulled back. So if we go back to that queen of cups, that's that energy of like you're, you're leading maybe with your heart. Where as the week progresses, you have an, an opposing energy. <clears throat> so I want to point this out, that the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords are literally opposite ends of the spectrum. All emotion, all logic. So <clears throat> I think that is what you're approaching differently, right? Because we talked about seeing things from a different perspective. Maybe your communication becomes more clear, right? Because that choke up I was feeling is gone now. As I, as I said, no sooner, I feel like this is something you're going through. So <clears throat> let's talk further about that. What do we have for the Ace of Pentacles? Something flipped over. The Ten of Swords. Again, where you have the Ace of Pentacles in the very beginning of your reading, which was clarifying the world card that signifies the ending of a chapter. <clears throat> I now have the exact same thing, basically, because we have the nine of swords, or I'm sorry, the 10 of swords. This is showing up twice in your reading now, clarifying the ace of pentacles. So quite frankly, some of you may walk away from your job, may quit your job, or have been um, looking for a job. Something in the material changes, and it changes quickly, right? It's like new information comes, and you pivot. <clears throat> what else do we have? Why the nine of swords? two cards came out guys leo i don't know listen i've got the nine of swords clarifying the nine of swords as well as the page of pentacles so you basically have the exact same card showing up even in the row so the page of wands it starts the second row and ends the second row and in between is a lot of back and forth of stress anxiety sleepless nights putting the end of something but every time you're closing a door up ace shows up and that's exactly what you want so if you're feeling challenged if you're feeling like i can't take one more thing well you might have to endure one or two more things but look at the other side of that door that threshold as you cross it ace of pentacles ace of swords right <clears throat> new ideas new money it's like this is very good for you this nine of swords, the 10 of swords, all of these swords showing up, you know, they're being balanced by aces and that's exactly what you want. So <clears throat> let's clarify. Okay. Let's clarify the other 10 of swords, please. What do we have for Leo? Why the 10 of swords? 
a bunch of things came out. So I'm going to take those as the last row, please. <clears throat> I've got the nine of wands clarifying the ten of swords. This is the second time. So <clears throat> that you're getting nines, nine of swords, nine of wands, anxiety, sleepless nights, putting up with, you know, I'm, I'm hearing putting yourself to the side to appease other people's desires. That's very specific, Leo, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm fearing like you've been putting yourself to the side. And this, the chapter that's closing for you is where you come second. Like you're no longer the co-star. You're the main character. And I think that that's what this is signifying because here I've got, and also whatever relationship that you're putting an end to, that I really feel like there's a closing to a particular relationship that meant a lot to you. Um, and so if it's not romantic, this could be the ending of a friendship, like a long lasting friendship, because both people have changed. This could be a complete shifting in a dynamic where it's like more personal to you. Because <clears throat> I see this nine of pentacles being coupled with this five of pentacles. So I feel like in the past where you were feeling left out or you were feeling like, I don't know, like someone was really not valuing you the way you should be. As you started growing your nine pentacles, right? You let go of this past and that's how it's working. I feel that as this week progresses, you are privy to information which allows you to release. It, it does. It, it allows you to release some really, really difficult traumas. And I say that because the hanged one is being clarified by the devil card. So the devil card is often just about a twisted view of the world, right? Maybe whatever's going on inside you has has gotten to you to a point that, that the reason you need to release it is because it's starting to come out in a way that isn't conducive to who you are anymore. And Leo, this is not just you. Like I said, I'm a Leo rising. This is all of us, right? The entire collective is going through this period of, man, if I don't start looking at things differently, I'm going to be sucked in by the lower vibrations. And it's very possible because that's its own thought form. <clears throat> These are two very different energies. One is, you know, this, the devil card, sometimes we need this, right? We need this to balance us out. We need to get our, into our lower vibration so we understand all of the things and can understand what it is to be out of it. <clears throat> but also, this is about addiction and mental health and dramas and traumas and the lower vibes and the belief that you have to or you should or you need to. No, no. What you want to do, what you desire to do is where your energy can go more easily than anywhere else. And so to focus on that is for your betterment. When you are wrapped up in other people's, I don't know, dramas and traumas, or even if you're reliving a loop with something difficult, it definitely puts you in a position where <clears throat> you end up bringing about what you think about. So more negativity shows up. So it's just something to remember, Leo, that as you are heading this week and as you're going through all of the things, just try to maintain a neutral position. This is a tricky week ahead. Um, like I said, check out your other placements. So lots of changes. This is your shadow work for the week. Number 27, fragmentation. That suggests that as you are exploring these new ideas, this hanged one, as you're coming from a place of switching your perspective from one of hurt and one of regret or shame or whatever the case might be, because there is this energy of reviewing something difficult in relationship and using that energy to fuel your desires and passion to explore a whole new life for yourself. There is a real fresh start here for you, Leo. And so as you rebuild, you first must fall right? Let the house of cards fall. And that 52 card pickup, right? That's the fragmentation. And so when that happens, because it happens to all of us, that's that dark night of the soul. As you rebuild, know that you are beautifully and perfectly put back exactly how you should be with lessons and scars and beauty marks, all of it. That is who you are and who you are meant to be. And it makes the most beautiful light. 
So the fragmentation, you are whole. You are just seeing all parts of yourself. And to rebuild, you must become in right relationship with all parts of yourself. All right, so now let's look at the empath card this week. What can we do with that energy once we transform it for Leo? Number 23, learning from social conflict. That's your whole reading right? Your whole reading was about you get information, looking at something differently, putting down your weapons, putting down the guard, putting down the hurt, leaving the anxiety behind. It's like a whole new world shows up for you this week, Leo. And it has you feeling like what is going on, but that's perfect because that means that you're evolving. That means that you're changing something about yourself and change is exactly what we're meant to do. Oh my gosh, Leo, this was a great reading actually, because all I see is endings of stress and beginnings of whatever it is that you want. Honestly, I'm very proud of all of us, right? Because like I said, I'm a Leo rising. That's a big deal. Uh, it's a big deal to be doing all this work, right? So in closing, guys, remember that we are all just stars from the sky with feet on the ground. We're doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And remember, <laughs> may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, drop some comments. I respond to each and every one of them. And until next time, have a great week ahead. Bye, Leo.